Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Geneva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with another video. This is an Anna Griffin Finishing School Cart Canton Blue, Canton Blue, and um, the, the Neo Classic frame set. So let's look at the frame set first. I'm not sure if this was an auto ship or, y'all, I can never open these things. What? Um, I'm not sure if this was an auto ship or what it was. Um, or if I just seen the frame and I bought it. I'm not really sure. Because I have stuff on auto ship, but it hasn't been coming. If, if y'all have auto ships, y'all know we ain't getting the stuff we supposed to get. When we're supposed to get them. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Uh, holy moly in the moly. Ain't that beautiful? <clears throat> this must have been one I seen because I don't remember this being an auto ship, but it might be. Don't get me the line. Let's see. Come out of there. Okay. 3D Neo Classic Constrictric Frame. That is so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. Let's cut this out. And you know what we're going to cut it out with? A few videos back. I showed you this. Let's cut this out with it. And it says pull away the paper and not the die. Let's cut this out. <coughs> I'm going to leave. I'm not going to cut out the frame. I'm going to leave the middle. Because we cover it up anyway. So... Nope, I can't do it that way. I was trying to figure out how I can conserve this paper. Let's. Okay. Let's just cut it right here. The thing about this type of stuff, you'll never get it back again. I'll never be able to create this again. That enough not be but let's see just want you to see the gorgeousness of this paper mixed with the gorgeousness of this die oh it did cut <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it was going to reach the edge, but it, it did. Barely. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful that is. Oh wow. Look how beautiful this is. It cuts out gorgeous. Cuts out gorgeous, y'all. Yes, it does. That's gorgeous. And then this is the back piece. I would cut a piece of gold, maybe, or green. Let's see what kind of paper I have over here. <clears throat> I was gonna pick some gray <laughs> here let's 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 see if this fits yeah we'll use this paper stack um let's use the let's see what color will go best no Green is exactly the color that I probably need, but of course, I don't have any, so we're gonna just use some plain old. This we just gonna use some plain old, and this is from the this one, like right behind me. I have a drawer with those little paper stacks because when I was new 
at card making. I bought all that little kind of stuff. Wasting my money. This is going to be just enough. It, it's going to fit just right. And it's not going to fit at all. How about that? Too small. Might be missing some edges. Uh, oh, turned it off. One. This is super cute. Oh, nope. Just enough. Just enough for the city. Look at it. It's so beautiful. And that paper really did it. It, that that um <clears throat> I didn't do good in the middle um this part right here because it was just practice when we were at the um October but once we put the middle in we won't even see it okay so what we can do with this part we can take this and I'm gonna just put a little piece right there. Because I, sometimes I like mine to hang off and have, like, movement. Oh, that's pretty. That is so cute. I love it. It's crooked. It's crooked. Okay, first of all. I need to start from the top and not the bottom. That's brainy. That's better. I'm swinging it to the side. Oh, there it go. There we go. Yay! Look at it. Super cute. And once we fill in the scene, you won't see this part. But we'll use this for something else later. Okay, so let's put this back on here. So that's cute. Our little frame die. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to look at the carton blue. It's the window dies? Or all these window like dies? I guess so. Um maybe they weren't. I don't really know. This is but this one is. So let's see what we got here. Night a lot of good inspirational stuff inspiration style stuff this is making it look like you're looking in a room out the window do we have any that makes it there yeah, they all look like they're looking out a window nothing that looks in a window yeah okay so let's see anna griffin knows she loves her china she tells you that all the time too okay it has the package of flourishes all of these gorgeous backgrounds. Look at that. I was talking to a, a lady at the Croptober and she says she takes a month and does everybody's stuff. So she, one month she'll work on Anna Griffin, Crafter's Companion, Diamond Press, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to do something like that, but maybe only two weeks. Because that's a long time to be working with one group of stuff. Because you'll never see any of your stuff. You don't. You just work on one company for a whole month. I love when she does this. Because this is the top and this is the bottom. I love that. Um, what is this? Um, chair rail. That's what it is. I love that. So those are the card bases. 
and of course you get gold foil because you're going to cut out gold and then these are the things that they go on top but they're the same the wallpaper type it's the same as the card bases so you can go directly onto the card bases you can cut out these out of it her stuff is so pretty you don't want to cover up but you ain't got no choice because all of it is so pretty You ain't got no choice to cover it up because she don't give us plain card bases. And we don't want her to. And this is the die set. Super cute. It's bigger than what I thought it would be. Uh, five inches, maybe? Yeah. Five by almost four. Five by four. Super pretty. Um, Yeah. Super cute. I love this. Um, you know what? Oh, okay. So, like, this is this back piece. But is it wide enough? It, it, it just fits wide enough. It's just wide enough to cut that. So this must be a five inch piece. Nope, this is a four and three or oh, seven eighths. Something like that. But it's you got to put it straight on or you'll miss. Well maybe not, because it it's more in in. You gotta put it on there or you won't cut it out. Put it like that. But that's cute. Okay. So that's this part. <laughs> slim lines and then let's look at the what these things called Ooh, that hurts. That hurts dress. slim lines it's a slim line card look at the little jars they're so cute can't even see them there we go they so dainty with this light blue cartoon blue it's so cute y'all classic Anna Griffin look at these little charging plates super cute do I have enough time to make one of these let's see which one that don't have so much going on there's none of them None of them don't have so much going on. <laughs> um, look like this one has... Uh, is that a, the paper that's looking like that? Because this one looks like it's been embossed. See this one? It looks like the it's been embossed. But is that the paper? see that paper Is it the card base maybe I don't even see that hey you gave us the slip there buddy You know you be want to make them to look exactly like the picture. That look like it might be some kind of embossed sheet. But that's cute. This one has been made with um this paper. This paper right here. Mm. Yep, this one has been made so. That one. 
from the in our chair is made with this piece here. Let's just get my big plates. I wasn't thinking I should have bought another set of plates because I got to prep for um, Create 8. But I, I got other machines I can use on smaller things. So it's okay. It's all right for it. Okay, so we're going to put this on there and this, these two together. Okay. Okay, so we got this piece here. Okay, so we got that. This piece. And we can save this little piece for something. Okay, so let's put this back on here. And this back on here. But we, you know, we need this piece here. For the backer of the table. Okay. Okay, so let's do the background in this gold. So we're just gonna take this and put this right on there. Telling y'all it's barely fitting, but it looks like it'll fit. Barely. In the barely in the barely. Gotta make sure you lay it on there. Edge to edge. Edge to edge. see how it barely fits but as long as it fits okay we'll keep this we're gonna keep this these two pieces because we don't need those okay now let's slide this drove right here and we're gonna just put these in here see the one thing about these type of things there's no stamps so we can't never really duplicate the the design because there's no stamps you can never do truly duplicate because there's no stamps Let's see how we can do this quickly. And we need a card base. Duh. Let's get one of these blue card bases with this. Okay. Okay, so we got this card base. And we're going to take this piece here. And this will go here. Okay. Okay, so this will go here, and then this will go here. Move that up a little bit. Yep. Like that. This piece layers on there. Okay. Then this piece will go here. Um... We need something for the bottom. Let's take one out of here. Because we don't have to use the same thing. I, it just didn't have an embossing folder. 
let's use this one. I think I picked a too bright of an image background, but that's okay. It's all right. Move that up here. Because this is what this is going to look like. And so this will look like it's hanging off here. And this one will be sitting there. Um, where is that? Mm-mm. Doing here. Some of these will go in in there. Um, I need something with some greenery. Um, where's the other pieces? Because it looked like it got greenery in it. Right like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. We'll push this over. And I'm what I'm there we go. I'm gonna put it between the gold piece between the gold to make it look like it's sitting on the table. And then I'm slide that down right like that. There we go. Okay. And then instead of using this same color, since I have so much in the background, I'm going to use some of these um, flowers here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of some of the tone on tone type of situation. And then we'll take one of these. And we'll say best wishes. Like that. need to make a sympathy card one of our school member board members passed away and his memorial service is I think in two weeks or in a week something like that that we're having for him uh, his wife is having for the students because he was um, an avid um, he was an avid band leader and he is being honored at a memorial service. So I gotta make a card for the family. Look at it, it's so cute. Mm -mm. Okay, so I know how it's gonna go. Let's put it this puppy to bed. Let's put this together. These impromptu things. And oh, it's 114. I got to get dressed so I can get out of here. Um, I just got a phone call making sure I was coming. I don't want to be late. I got my Anna Griffin box. So when I come back, my next um, video will be that. And I have this wax seal stuff. Because you know Spellbinders just came out with these wax seals. And I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I don't want to buy something that I haven't tried out and spend that much money for. Because um, Spellbinders is not the most expensive thing. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I didn't. Okay, now let's cut.
cut some of these up so I can pop them up. Um, so I bought a cheaper the Amazon version of them and see how they work before I invest the $50. Or I'm, I don't even have to buy the supplies anymore because I got enough of them. But I would buy the little wax melty things from Spellbinders. Okay, so that's that part. It's the only one reason why I love these little things from um, the Dollar Tree because they're super glue kind and they have a good sticky. These little things, these mounting things, they're super glue brand. Let's do it this way. And one thing that I did learn from Stamplistic is that you have to put enough pop dots to make these. Oh, look how good that's sticking. Like they need to be close enough together so they don't sink. But you end up using a lot of, of these um, adhesive strips. Okay, <clears throat> so let's pop this off. This is so cute. Just the designers who did think of this kind of stuff have a very good mind, which, you know, as the more and more I think about it, um, a lot of the things that we see in our crafty life mimics real life. Like this is somebody's front door. You know, when you walk in the door and it's a bowl of flowers with your keys and all that, that's what this is. And so it really mimics life. And for somebody to capture that and be able to get the dyes for it is fabulous. They, they really, um, really think about what they're doing you know and they're not really like leaving us hanging you can't see that but I'm just putting these down here and put some up here too That's gonna hang over the top. Make sure it meets matches the top like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm cut this in half. <coughs> Just so I can put one right there. Okay. And then I need these to be right here. So I can pop that up. So I'll cut these maybe in thirds. Yeah. Look how, like, they are so sticky. I love these. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut these four of them like that. And I wanna run one down here just to keep these up. Okay. It's hard to take these off because they're so sticky. When y'all craft, are y'all messy like me? Let me know in the description box, are y'all messy like me? Like, I clean up after every 
card making session whatever i'm doing i clean up afterwards but in the process it'd be stuff everywhere just like it look now this is pretty tame actually and i learned you don't have to take all the pop dots off really you only need to take the the outer border off you don't have to take them all off Okay, so there we go. Because the rest of them is really just support for it. It's really just support. Ouch, what did I just stick myself with? The needle for the glue. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And glue. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now this is our base thing. Move this out of the way. Okay, so then we have this one that these are stickers, I'm sure. Yes, they are. Okay, let's put some glue on here. I'm going to put this one right there. And then where's our big face? There's someone right here. Oh, got to take the sticky off. So this one will go right here. And it kind of feeds right into that. It blends right in. Since we don't really have to do anything with this piece. <coughs> Just take this sticky off. Oh, come on. right there and then we're going to take this one and we'll put this one at the bottom okay we're going to put this one right in the middle right there in the middle These got to be some fresh stickers because it's hard to take these things off. Okay, I'm going to put it right behind that chair leg and stick that baby on right there. <clears throat> Can't take this sticky off. These are some fresh stickers. Okay, I'm going to put this one in here like that, and then I'll put this one at the bottom. Okay, we're going to put this stick here, make sure it's underneath that leg, and we're going to put that right there, just to give it a little color. What y'all think? There you go. I love this set. It's different. I love the window pane. Not like a window pane is new, but the, the way that they're using it is really nice. So that is the Anna Griffin Court Canton Blue. There you go. This is the Court Canton Blue. And that's the card.
Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see y'all in the next one.